uh, we're going to be going off the cuff a little bit uh, with the gaming news. We don't have a lot of stories. Um, we have as many as we could find that were relevant. So we have about six stories for the news today. Um, and we're going to go through all of those. Of course, uh, you know, this is this is unprecedented. I'm very grateful for everybody who joined. Uh, if you're just joining us, welcome to our show, Last Week in Gaming. Um, this is the show that we normally do. Uh, on the, on the set with uh, a guest in person. So today we're actually going to have a someone tuning in remote. And do you know who it is? Yeah. Gary Wetta. And uh, will be joining us later. Be patient with us if we got to get that little camera angle sorted a little bit. Of course. Okay. Uh, I think it should be good. I think I nailed it. I think we nailed it. I think we have a good setup to last us at least a couple weeks. Yeah. We'll see how long this, uh, well, this thing goes. This is our life now. This is our life now. Quarantine for the rest this of the This is our new normal, as they like to say. Um, but we MacGyvered the heck out of it. Props to us. Uh, let me also yeah. make sure I'm checking chat to uh, see all of your lovely comments to see no, who's watching. I, I bet yeah. my dad is watching. Of, what? <laughs> I bet my dad is yeah. watching from Woo, home. Gary Witta. Woo! It says wonderful. Chrissy Poo asks, uh, Mark Cerny ASMR topic? Yes. Ah. Yes. Yes. Because he's a presenter for the PS5 so, thing. PS5 right? thing. So or, we're going to be talking about, yeah, we're going to be having that story actually in a bit. I like to call him uh, Mark Cerny Nerdy. Because nerdy? Uh, <laughs> it rhymes. It it's kind of cute. Um, all right, let me pour myself a little LaCroix. Let's move the, Let's the get swear jar out of the shop. The swear jar? Yeah. Pass Is it, it not me. working? It just It's making weird glare. I do want to also show you guys, because I would not make a show without a baby Yoda. And we do have him, but unfortunately he's green. So it doesn't really work with our setup. <laughs> so he's here. You know, his presence is here. He's he's keeping us company behind the scenes. Looks um, and sounds great. Yay! I'm so happy to hear that. Vin, that was Vinny. Vinny, thank you Perfect. so much. Wait Vinny's till you see our, our transitions and stuff. On our that note, transitions. We, uh, let's get story. Let's get our story number one for our main story tonight. Uh, there's the uh, intro. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh right. Intro. Sorry. Main story. <laughs> <laughs> talking there we go let's go into it all right it felt like the world would end before a, another half-life game released i certainly felt that when um you know we were all playing half-life 2 forever that was fun uh but yeah it's it's been a bit too close for comfort with alex uh out now of course valve opened up to ign about why episode 3 never became a reality realities me and words uh level designer dario casali who's been at the developer for 20 plus years pointed to scope creep source 2 engine building and innovative issues as roadblocks to the third episode of half-life 2. casali explained to ign how valve failed to deliver the episodes in the time frame originally envisioned, saying, we found ourselves creeping ever forward towards, well, let's just keep putting more and more and more and more stuff in this game because we want to make it as good as we can. And then we realized these episodes are turning more into sequels. Remember, though, this is just one reason. Um, and it's fascinating to see, you know, Valve sort of become honest with us about all their problems and just being completely transparent. To me, that is crazy because Valve has been very hush hush and closed doors for a long time. Um, so yeah, it's really good to get a bit of the behind the scenes behind the, ma behind the making of Half-Life, uh, the new game, Alex, which apparently pretty damn good. Yeah. Pretty damn good. Yeah, it's got a 10 from Dan Stapleton. What? Yeah. 10. Also, I'm not recording this yet. Oh, that's and, okay. Yeah, and because I don't want to <laughs> risk it crashing. Ooh, here's some ASMR for you. Don't worry about recording it. Okay, cool. ASMR. It's probably working really well. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Yeah. I got to say, I did nail the transition to the quote. Oh, the thank yeah. you for doing that. All right. Kyle, uh, one man show right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, my man, Mark Cerny Nerdy. I don't know if that's it. Like, if he doesn't like that nickname, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, used his soothing voice uh, to break down a lot of the tech specs of PlayStation 5 recently. We finally have the tech specs for PlayStation 5. Uh, he also mentioned the top 100 most played PS4 games uh, that would work on PS5, creating some confusion about backward compatibility capabilities for the upcoming console. Well, the PlayStation blog cleared that up by stating, quote, the overwhelmingly majority of the 4,000 plus PS4 titles will be playable on PS5. So that settles that. Unlikely a uh, story ps5 yeah, very, i'm sure <laughs> uh but yeah thankfully uh they're finally clearing that up uh it's so comforting to know you know that uh we can carry over our libraries and not have to start from scratch let me tell you yeah that is nice and, have, and ps playstation has such a massive library as it is mm-hmm 
Exactly. You guys can hear Kyle correctly? She's Making probably, sure. yeah, yeah, because it's got that microphone on the desk. Okay, cool. Are you there any comments? in the other room. Uh, no comments right now. I think everyone is just enthralled with your amazing storytelling. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Shaheen says, yes, totes, we can. Totes, we can. Okay, good. Uh, the Last of Us 2. This is our next story. Uh, the Last of Us 2, which seems scarily more like real life than ever. I think that's true for a lot of games these days. They're trying to make them super real. It's kind of scary. Anyways, um, it's led to constant crunch at Naughty Dog this game, apparently, which I'm not surprised because they've been delaying the game. And so uh, things have happened. Kotaku uh, put out an in-depth report on the, Sony, on the Sony studio saying that there seems to be unsustainable long hours put in by the company's workers. In fact, this has led to 14 of the 20 non-lead designers from Uncharted 4 exiting Naughty Dog. 14? 14 of the 20. Holy cow. That is a huge percentage. Yeah. Um, and some employees still there supposedly even wish that Last of Us 2 fails what? Yeah, in a sense, to show that the studio and Sony, that their model of production can't continue any longer like that. Um, wow. So there's, uh, you know, obviously a lot more to this report on Kotaku's website. Go check out the article. Uh, but in general, yeah, it's it's another example of unhealthy work life. Prominent, by prominent developer, an unhealthy work life balance that is not appreciated. I mean, mm. I wouldn't want that. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a little ashamed to hear from Naughty Dog, a, a company and developer that I've long admired. I mean, they've made amazing games, so it's you a little... First, you named your first child Naughty Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my first child? What? I have a kid? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. this is bad news. Um, probably should look into that. Yeah. Well, speaking of Naughty Dog, they're in the news once again this week. Um, Uncharted 4 is apparently the headliner for next month's PlayStation Plus lineup. That's right. We're going to have that for you next week, the PS Plus uh, lineup plus, of course, Xbox Games with Gold. Anyways, Muscle Hamster says this looks awesome. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Muscle Hamster. We're trying. We're trying. Uh, video game deal posting Superhuman Wario 64 on Twitter posted a now set to private video that showcased Uncharted 4 and Dirt Rally 2.0 as the PS4 games on PS Plus in April. So this is obviously a leak. Sony usually waits a bit longer in the month before unveiling this lineup, so it's very um, very likely that this was a mistake. That you know, they just posted the YouTube video without setting it to somebody private. Goofed. So basically, somebody goofed and probably is getting fired. I don't Maybe know. I don't know. That's a pretty big mistake. Um, so look forward to uh, those two gems for the PS Plus lineup next week, which we'll also have a reiteration of in case this is all not real. But I'm pretty sure it's real. Pretty sure that's what we're getting. Um, so yeah, we'll obviously be here to give you guys the update next week. On top of if there's going to be a Nintendo Direct, which who knows? There's rumors that might still happen. Tom oh. Nook Direct. Yeah, Tom Nook Direct. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. If they just had Tom Nook host the <laughs> Nintendo Direct. I mean, it's the best way to do this remote. Yeah. And to still have it be really entertaining and not awkward. <laughs> like this show. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> oh, no. Um, there will be mu much more Witcher, which I'm not surprised that show and its games are pretty much a gold mine. Yeah. Um, I mean, we already knew that Henry Cavill, of course, uh, was going to slide back into those leather pants. He's been posting a lot on Instagram about it. And uh, he's going to make sure to put on that wig, that white wig, for a second season on Netflix series. But CD Projekt Red is teasing another single-player Witcher game that won't star Geralt. So, according to Eurogamer, uh, CEO Adam Kaczynski... Uh, spoke at a Polish conference recently and mentioned that CD Projekt Red is already underway with another project after CD, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. He added, I had already said there will be no Witcher 4. I clearly said that Witcher was a trilogy. Simultaneously, we've always emphasized that we want to create Witcher games and the agreement with Mr. Sapowski, Sapkowski, <laughs> mispronounced yeah. that, uh, confirmed our rights. So, I guess let the speculation begin about when a Witcher uh, game could possibly be in our future without our man Crush Geralt, which is very sad. But there better be Roach, otherwise I'll be double sad. <laughs> um, anyways, send along your guesses as to what might actually happen in this mystery game. A series game? Yeah, what would, you, what would you like to see in another Witcher game? Uh, I no. mean... The world is your oyster. Our world so is our many, oyster. so many different storylines of people we could be following in that world. Yeah. Um, Shaheen says, "Well, attitude of this guy—it's like passive aggressive emails." Yeah. As per our agreement with Sapkowski. That's right. Uh, as emphasized, email, um, Sapkowski confirmed the rights. 
This is confirmed and, and closed. <laughs> We're closing the gates. Um, you all jumped. Let's go to some Warzone news. Yeah, Let's Warzone do some Warzone news? news. I mean, you've been playing a lot of it. Oh, I've yeah. been playing a bit. I've been playing a lot of Warzone. I really like it. I think it's... Um, I was trepidatious about it before because I'm very Apex... I'm an Apex fan. Team Apex, yeah. Team Apex. Uh, but this one's close enough. And if everyone is playing this, then I will play it. Um, I just, you know, of course, love... I'm a diehard of the characters and what they did with Apex for all the different abilities yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I feel like that's missing from this game. And the yeah. slide functionality, like sliding. You can slide, but not the not, same way. Not the same way. Yeah, same not the same up. way. You know, like you can practically slide down a whole hill. Yeah. In, Apex. in Warzone, it's like, Meh. Yeah. And then you're done. Um, anyways, Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, in fact, more than 30 million people have dropped into the free-to-play Battle Royale game already. This is why we're talking about it, because everybody loves it. It's an astounding number, of course, especially for the people over the past decade who claimed Activision would run Call of Duty into the ground like Guitar yeah. Hero and, and Tony Hawk. Yeah, and it's Woo! seven of the ten last games of the best-selling games of the decade are all Call of Duty. People don't know what they're talking about. They don't know the S word. I almost swore. We still have the swear jar. This still applies here, even yeah. in our home. Even in our home. We swear, though, a lot when I do. we're not on camera. Poop. Butts. I almost said butts. And you stole it from me. It from all right, me. Um, all right. So obviously that isn't the case, um, and it's well deserved for uh, Warzone to have all the success. Um, I love shooting people out of the sky during initial drop. That's kind of my go-to thing, um, and I love using a thermal scope on a sniper uh, to surprise others. Have you tried that, Kyle? Oh yeah, that's my go-to. That's my go-to too. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love how goofy you can be with uh, the vehicles, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm always nervous when I drive around my friends in yeah. vehicles, because I'm like. Please don't drive bad. It's okay. There's I'll be embarrassed clip. if I do. There's a there's a clip in the um in the mediocre plays for today where I crashed the vehicle. <laughs> no. I crashed a helicopter into someone. Yeah. You done did it. Yeah, I done did it. Well, speaking of your mediocre plays. Yeah. Uh, let's roll to it. Do we want to do it? I think it's a good one. I think it's a good time to do it. And when you guys come back, we're gonna share our Animal Crossing impressions. Yeah. Um, and we are also going to talk about uh, what games to play during quarantine because we all know every gamer out there has a huge backlog backlog of games to cover. So what is missing on your playlist? We're going to have a discussion about that right after this. No! Oh. I thought I had it. Damn. Oh, this what a save? Okay. Guess what's happening yeah, now. You, you wanna talk <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh my God! Nice. What the f was that? <laughs> Somewhere in there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's right here. Bottom floor. They're trying to survive. Got him. Oh! In the window to our west. Top floor. Is he still there? Right there. Not anymore. Okay, drop that guy. Good job, dude. Dropped him. Oh my god. Woo! Yeah, they kind of went away, I think. 
No, I killed him. I killed him. All of them. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, my God. In this train. In this train. The guy hiding. Hit him. Down his buddy. Hit him. Got him. <laughs> this is f***ing sadistic. Oh, I'm sorry. I got him, though. I downed him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's you and I versus one guy. On me, on me, on me. Hey! Nice. Woo Dudes! Are you serious? Game two victory. Boom, boom. No. Did we go live. dark? Did we go dark? You're live. We're live! So that was your mediocre plays. What did you think of yourself? Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. It's, Words, 90 a good game. of it is just the well... Uh, the well-edited stuff from M, really. Right, yeah, she Emily crushing it. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Um, I should probably get back into that game. Is there anything that you're dying to play now that we're in quarantine that you just haven't gone back to or never finished playing? Uh, or... I'm about to beat Doom. Yeah? Yeah. Tell me more. Oh, my God. That game is amazing. It's probably going to be my game of the year. Sorry, I just hit my mic with the microphone. You spilled water on the microphone? No, I didn't spill water. I just hit oh, the mic. I hit, it. I bumped the mic. So sorry to your headphones if you're listening to that. Is crashing someone in? Is crashing a helicopter into someone legal? Yes. Yes, yeah, so uh, you can pretty much actually encouraged in the war. There's a lot of stuff in Warzone that yeah. you'd be surprised <laughs> they allow, but they do. Uh, yeah. I, I really think Doom Eternal will be my game of the year. Um, yeah. It's just so good. It's a good show. It's so it's a good show. It's a good, it's it's a good a, show. It's a good show. <laughs> We're so used to talking about video the shows. Um, <laughs> it's just so good. The lore is so good. The gameplay is so good. The music is so good. It's very fast paced. Oh, it's outrageous. I mean, fast. I don't know how they were able to top the first game. Being they just able added to... all these systems. You got these dashes. A lot of more stories. You can get a sword. It's yeah. great. Yeah, uh, if you guys haven't so checked good. out Doom, or if you guys have, let us know in the chat so we can uh, chat with you guys about it. Yeah, um, uh, Doom Eternal is so good, says Mastermind Evan. Yes. Um, he tuned into my stream, it was really nice of him. Oh, that's nice of you, Kasun, Mastermind. Kasun uh, says, smiley face. Smiley uh, face. Grizz, grizzle, Grizz. I'm making sure grizzle that you guys 01. on Instagram also know to tune in. Yeah, Grizzle01 so says, haha, whatever works. Haha, <laughs> whatever works. Um, I So I is there any game that you guys currently are going back to play now that you have more, maybe more time. I mean, it's different for every person out there right now. Some people are still, of course, working at the front lines, which is, to me, the most heroic thing you could do right now and, yeah. like, risk your life going out there um, to make sure everyone's fed and everyone's, like, society still functions to some degree. Yeah. Um, so, but if you do have more time now, is there anything that you are you wish you could go back to or you want to go back to? For me, it's Mario Luigi. Oh, mansion. Really? Yeah, because I haven't actually played... Uh, through all of Luigi's Mansion. I know that it's a game that's been sitting on my Switch. I haven't played it. Unfortunately, Animal Crossing has taken over my life. Yeah. So I've just been playing We're that nonstop. We're some good comments right now. Really good uh, comments? All right, let's hear them. Uh, Johnny Digital says, I'm playing Valfaris, which is 2.5D Doom for Switch, which is, sounds really cool. Super cool. Grizzle says Star Wars. I don't know. Star Wars is just good. The concept just the concept. So it might be probably Jedi Fallen Order Maybe, is my yeah, guess. That's a great, yeah. Oh, that game's good. I, that's a, that's one I would return to as well. Yeah, so did you start, how far did you get into it? When Pretty you far, a couple hours into it. She here says, I'm such a noob. I downloaded some of the games for the Switch on the other on sale. Some of the games do tell. Which Switch ones did you download? Some good sales. Yeah, yes. which is great. I actually ordered myself one, so now we'll have two in the house. Oh my gosh, amazing. Anyway. I mean, there's a lot of games right now doing stuff like that where, you know, for example, Minecraft now has a lot of uh, games that you can go on there to teach like, kids, like yeah, play kids, you know, it's, it's platform, educational, yeah. it's fun. Um, so there's a lot of things like that happening, which definitely take advantage of it right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you can. Buy some games on special. Buy some games if you can. <laughs> um, Child of Light is on special if you haven't played that oh, there's yet. There's also obviously Ori. That was one I didn't. Oh yeah, Ori. If you guys haven't played <laughs> the first one, you should she definitely says, play the first uh, one. Silly ones like Toki Tori and Wheel of Fortune. She's an old person. <laughs> Shaheen, you would you would get Wheel of Fortune. You would totally get Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Like you you just, would. Shaheen at home she's like Wheel of oh, Fortune. fortune! <laughs> so good. Uh, Kasun says. Uh, He's on day 10 of quarantine in Sri Lanka, and he plays COD Mobile. COD Mobile? Yeah, it's All right. good. It's pretty good. A lot actually. of good mobile games you could definitely get in on Yeah, it's what right I want to make. I mm -hmm. got the first Ori having so much fun, so snack time. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're playing if you're playing Ori, the second one, either one, because actually one and two 
uh, are pretty equal in terms, like none of them are really outdated. Like the first no, one's definitely yeah, very, style, yeah. still the same, similar music and art style. And you're going to get a good experience throughout both of those titles. I don't think you'll feel playing Ori, one, uh, Ori in the Blind Forest and the new one. And you won't feel as much of a difference between the two. I yeah. feel like, I almost feel like they're games that came out in the same year. Yeah. You know, in a lot of ways. It feels like it. They're so closely related. They're so closely related. Grizzle says Halo is far back. If you Halo. haven't played Halo, you should play Halo. It's about time. Yeah. Uh, and the new Halo Reach is out. You know, the remaster. The remaster. Yeah, yeah which I was is like, good. Halo Reach is not new. No, nope, but if you want to go back and play... The Master Chief Collection? Definitely play. I would say play the remastered stuff. Yeah. Don't yeah, go to the really the, old, like, oh, no, I'm sc yawning. scrappy looking. Kyle's yawning. Halo um, is on MCC PC now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good right. one. That's a good one. Um, the other one on my list that I haven't checked out, sorry, I have checked out, I finished about maybe three hours, not even. God of War. That's one I never finished. You little turd. I know. Are you going to actually play it? I'm actually going to play it. No I think. way. Oh, yeah, totally. It's too tough for you. It's too scary. It's not, it's not scary. It's, it I do want to say mode. that when it came out, I was still playing Horizon. <laughs> I know. I'm just and it's a lot. You. you know, I just loved Horizon so much. Yeah, so it was hard for me like, to like break Horizon. from. Yeah, Horizon kind of felt, I don't know. There was just, and there was another game, I think, before, uh, during God of War, where it was like a lot lighter and less of a deep dark story of yeah, and so kind dark. of sad and, and my i'm sad and my son is sad yes. because i'm sad and yes. it's like oh yeah it's you have to good. say boy 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 <laughs> get over here boy get over here boy okay so i do want to share my thoughts on animal crossing yeah so we have our guest gary widow who's going to be joining us in six minutes yeah um we are going to set this up to show gameplay give us some time here we're working out some things uh i think next week we'll, we might try some gameplay stuff um but because i want to talk about animal crossing because it's pretty much all i've been playing for the past 48 hours um yeah maybe yeah, even Neil longer was like, i don't know if i'll like it i'm not sure you'll get it and i was like you'll love it forget it yeah it is so similar to stardew valley there, I mean, the way you set up your house and yeah. everything you need to get situated, you need to collect wood, well, you need to cut Valley down trees. Is came after Animal Crossing. Oh, I know. Animal Crossing and has been around a for lot years. Of that, I believe, yes. draws a lot of heavy influence from uh, Harvest Moon. Mm -hmm. Which is the, the game. yeah. So I, w I would say that SSC for me, it Rose pulls from a lot hi. of different. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Sorry for talking over you. I just no, that's to okay. Myself. Pineapple Pencil 2.0. Pineapple Pencil 2.0. Yeah, that's what people are saying. That's from uh, you guys. You guys, you know. Yeah. That's from uh, my my uh, other live stream that I did where I was like, we need a code. Because yeah. I know that people who are tuning in to this show um, promised that they would start watching this show. Oh. I made them promise. Oh. Um, and I said, if you guys come on, we're going to give you a shout out because Pineapple Pencil. That's yeah. just it. That's the code. No was, other, no further explanation needed. That was Gimlox needed. and Mastermind Evan. Yes! So tell us about your... Um, I'm opening Animal, Cro Animal, Animal Crossing... Right now, oh, ham sanitizer. do you think we could show the ham sanitizer uh, gif? Uh, sorry, the TikTok. It's a TikTok, guys. Look, I can I can honestly say that in this quarantine, TikTok has also been a huge part of my life. I think I'm just consuming it more. I want to start getting into doing TikTok. It's a bad thing. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, Ooh. let me see if I can pull this up. All right. So meanwhile, while you do that, um, yeah, I love I love what they've done with the new Animal Crossing. Um, I'm, I haven't even gone into inviting friends yet, yeah. but I'm getting set up for that. I, I gotta say, when they told me, oh, you have to like get a mortgage for your house, I was like, nah, I'm gonna save yeah. all my money. And by the time I, I'm able to get a house, because eventually the whole thing is you have to uh, wait for certain scenarios to happen before. No, actually you trigger it. You trigger it with Tom Nook, you say, I want to get a house, and then it's built the next day. Yeah. So I was like, so, so, uh, I guess hard headed. And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to save enough so that when I do get my house built, I can just pay right off. I'm not doing this mortgage stuff. Yeah. Um, so I saved up money. Uh, I didn't know that the house would be built the next day. So by the time the house was built, I'd already like doubled my money. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I have a house now, and I have enough to buy another house, or a ton of furniture, or pretty much whatever I want for the rest of the game. Um, and I, the trick is to also get tarantulas, which I've seen a lot of people do. So I'm going to try to see if I can uh, do that as my next, um, you know, thing to do. The thing is, with Animal Crossing, there's not a lot... Like, you kind of have to be like, what am I doing? Like, you literally go up to Tom Nook, and you're like, 
what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like he's supposed to buy shit from me. Yeah, he's like, buy stuff, uh, you know, help us gather things, uh, be a huge contributing member. Meanwhile, the two other people who live on that island do absolutely nothing. They can't fish to save their life. Um, anyways, it's been very exciting. Uh, the museum admission, oh, so the admission of the museum just got announced, actually. I just opened an Animal Crossing right now. And they're building the museum, so that's very exciting. Or it's actually already built at this point, let me see. Regardless, I am hooked on Animal Crossing, and I really like the fishing mechanic. Yeah. Better than I do Stardew's fishing Shaheen mechanic. says it's, uh, it's a lot legit, legit a babysitter for uh, some parents working from home. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can lose hours playing this game, I know, because I've already played... Because you've done it. Too many. Too many hours. Um... So that's pretty much it for my impressions. Uh, I guess we have two more minutes. Uh, we're going to get Gary on the show in a second. Uh, I'm very excited because it's our first uh, video conference interview that I've ever... I mean, I've, I did them a couple times, to be fair. When I was on the Star Trek show uh, for the Ready Room, I interviewed maybe three or four people via conference calls. I'm super nervous about them usually because it's a whole different interaction, like going video to from in person to video. So I'm excited to see how this works. Um, Kyle's setting up the camera right now. <laughs> well, I'm just getting the angle going because I know you're very specific about your angles. Um, if you guys have any questions for Gary, you guys should start thinking some good ones up. Um, if you guys don't know Gary, Gary is a kind of funny crew he's member. He's here, but he's muted. Just okay. so he knows. I'm not he's... sure if he can hear me, but. Okay, good. Um, and if you don't know him, he's a big time screenwriter, screenwriter, or screenplay writer uh, for movies like Book of Eli and another one you might have heard of, Star Wars Rogue One. So we're going to have him on in a second to ask him all the good questions. And he's a hardcore gamer. I mean, the guy has a, a repertoire of working for uh, PC Gamer. I mean, he's had, he's a writer from the get go, but also a gamer from the get go. So this will be very, very cool to have him on. And he's been very cool about coming on our show. And he's, he's here? here. He's yeah. here. Okay, let me, let me get my um, earpiece in. This is our high tech. We're using the iPhone earpiece. 